Welcome back to Totality Town, North Carolina. This video is tips for visitors. No matter how far you have to travel in order to get to the path of totality, these tips will be helpful for you. The first thing you need to know is that you need to plan right away. This is the theme you'll hear echoed through everything else in this want to have video. The people most likely to get frustrated on Eclipse Day are those who live just a few hours from the path of totality and decide they'll just make a day trip of it at the last minute and kind of figure things out when they get there. Bad idea. Please come up with a plan and figure things out before you go. The other thing is to get what amenities you want to have. The best place to view the eclipse is somewhere along the center line. However, these places can be remote and are you willing to experience a shorter totality in order to have more amenities and attractions available? Now's the time to make that decision. Whatever decision you make, make your reservations early. A lot of Eclipse chasers book their hotel rooms years in advance. At the very least, you can expect hotels to already be booked solid several months in advance. Where we are here in Totality Town, hotels are already booked Chances are they are booked everywhere else in Western North Carolina. No matter where you are, hotel availability is going to be a challenge. So look for campgrounds, look for people offering camping on private property, but don't expect to be able to simply get a hotel room when you arrive. The other thing you need to do before you leave is you need to have a plan for Eclipse Day. Do a little bit of research, scout some things out, figure out exactly where you want to be for totality, where you're going to need to park in order to make that happen, whether there are tickets involved in the place you're going. You'll be much happier on Eclipse Day if you figure out all of those things before you leave home. Also, unless you've pre-purchased tickets for an event, make sure you have a backup plan in case the place that you want to go is already full or somehow unavailable. Wherever you decide to go, plan on arriving early. Traffic conditions are going to be very heavy and the crowds will come. It's best to arrive before they do. If you're planning on leaving Monday morning to get to your viewing site, make sure you set that alarm extra early so you can try and beat the traffic before things get thick. Take stock of what supplies you might need to bring. Small towns are going to experience unprecedented crowds. Even though many of these places have been planning for years, their basic infrastructure may be stretched. So if the crowds are expected to be large, then anticipate what things might be sold out when you get there. You can also think of it as if you're going to the beach. You're planning on being out in the open sun for hours on end, so bring a little bit of food and water, sunscreen, bring a chair, bring a little bit of shade, anything you can bring to make yourself a little bit more comfortable and which might be in short supply where you're going, make sure you bring with you. Here in Totality Town, we're warning gas stations to have a lot of extra supply on hand in order to support the crowds. Even so, it would probably be wise to top off your gas tank in the morning when you arrive rather than in the afternoon when everyone is trying to leave at the same time. Aside from all the preparations, make sure you do as much as you can to enjoy the place you've gone. Chances are the place that you've traveled to is somewhere that you would not have gone to otherwise. So participate in an event, go to a workshop, visit the local businesses, try and enjoy your stay wherever it is that you are. Finally, if at all possible, we are encouraging people to come early, perhaps even a day early. You may also want to consider making it an overnight and going home on Tuesday morning. Take a look at this map. Virtually every town within the path of totality is going to have events and viewing locations set up. Traffic on the way home is going to be thick. Even under normal driving conditions, it would take over an hour to get from anywhere on the center line to a location outside of the path of totality. And these driving conditions are going to be anything but normal. Plan lots of extra time when leaving. We encourage visitors to Totality Town to go ahead and stay for dinner and fill up on gas and everything you need to do because all of these locations between the center line and the edge of totality are all going to be equally as busy and equally full. So stay, enjoy yourself, and have a relaxed departure instead of rushing and sitting in traffic for a long time. No matter where you decide to go or what you decide to do for the eclipse, just remember to be patient and enjoy yourself. Everyone's there to have a good time. 
With the crowds, there's going to be a bit of waiting that's necessary, and that's okay. Just relax and enjoy the show. We hope that these tips will be helpful to you, whether you come and join us in Totality Town or enjoy the eclipse elsewhere. For more information on events and coming to Totality Town for the eclipse, please go to our webpage, wncsolareclipse.com, look us up on Facebook at WNC Solar Eclipse 2017, or subscribe to the Totality Town YouTube channel. We hope you'll consider joining us on August 21st.